Our world changed 17 years ago. So many of us remember where we were on September 11, 2001. For many, it's a somber day to reflect on the lives lost, but it's also a day to show appreciation to our first responders and military who put their lives on the line to serve and protect. Southern States Bank in Sylacauga held its annual First Responders Appreciation Day. Marty Garrett commented on the event. This started about five years ago just on a whim as doing a customer appreciation day and when it turned into 9-11, so we just made it an appreciation for the military and the first responders as well, and it's just continued every year. Representatives from the Sheriff's Department, along with Sylacauga Police Department and Fire Department, were in attendance. And that memory is etched in my mind forever. Uh, so many people sacrificed everything that day, and I'm just so happy to see everyone gather today in unison and remember and celebrate their memory and the sacrifices they made and support those who get up and put on the uniform and, and sacrifice their time, keeping all of us safe every day. So many, so many gave their lives to try to, to, try to save lives. And uh, it's just uh, it's a sad day, but it's also a, uh, a, a good day for us to get together and remember and, and uh, hopefully never forget. Yeah, this is a special day for uh, all firefighters in this great nation in which we live in. Um, the freedom we endure here. Um, it's, uh, you, you go back and remember the tragedies of September 11th and um, what that did to our nation here. It really brought us together. Uh, we appreciate after 17 years the community still comes together and, uh, and, and thanks us for our service and remember those who lost their life in that tragic accident back in uh, 2001. Several citizens were on hand to show their appreciation, including U.S. Congressman Mike Rogers. I, it just means a lot that people are taking the time to remember what happened to us. Uh, we can never forget the tragedy that was 9-11 and always rededicate ourselves to making sure it doesn't happen again, but also that we're prepared in case if we slip up and we do have a tragedy like this, we're ready for it. That our first responders know how to respond, to take care of citizens, get them the care they need, um, but mainly just to make sure we remember and, and re maintain the resolve that we've had for the last 17 years to protect ourselves. Reporting from Sylacauga, for TV24 Primetime News, I'm Eric Freeman. Uh, our, our children and